Berg here to talk about my latest movie. It's real sentimental, and I really want you to see it. Just kidding. It's me, Rev Halo fan. Haha, <laughs> fooled ya. Hey, uh, spring training games are about to start, so let's look at the Angels offseason, because to read some of the information on the internet, you would think that we're headed towards last place when we actually had a pretty good offseason, all things considered. The big news was Benedict Arnold, a.k.a. John Lackey, going to the Red Sox. And don't worry about this. You will look at the way the preseason prognostications spin it and think we are replacing John Lackey with Joel Pinheiro. Joel Pinheiro is replacing Matt Palmer and Shane Lukes in the Angels rotation as the fifth starter. The Angels don't look at the rebuilding process of the offseason in that box. They started the offseason in August, okay? It's called thinking outside the box. And what they did is they got Scott Kazmir in August. And so Kazmir is replacing Lackey in the Angels pitching rotation. And we should actually see an improvement relative to the way the pitching staff performed last year in its entirety. Hmm, not bad, eh? The Angels also parted ways with Sean Figgins, and um, much is being made out of this, and uh, especially in the sabermetric analysts looking at uh, where the Angels might suffer. Well, Sean Figgins is a leadoff hitter, which is well discounted by sabermetrics in importance, and um, he's a, a, a good at sacrifice bunting, which is uh, discarded by sabermetrics, and he's a base stealer. Well, that's sabermetrics says that's not too important. Not shouldn't be the center of your game. He hits a lot of singles, which you know, sabermetrics really privileges isolated power. Yeah, yeah. I I don't know why losing Figgins when you have Mycerus Turris and Brandon Wood, the best of which will be playing third base. Uh, I don't know why, but it's a chance for them to critique Mike Sosha for not worshipping the three-run homer. Okay. I, I look back on Sabermetric's love of Sean Figgins, and I look for articles uh, that were published on the Internet, and they were... No, no, they were published on the NEVERNET! They've never been published! All his career, the Sabermetrics hate... The stat heads hated Figgins. Now? Oh, it's such a loss. Um, the Angels were clipping coupons this offseason. What, what does that mean? You know how your grandpa on Social Security is clipping those 10% off coupons, 10% rebate coupons, and when you're on Social Security one day, you will be too! The Angels got a 10% rebate on the Gary Matthews salary. They traded him to the Mets. They got a middle relief pitcher who takes care of replacing Darren Oliver. And for all you Darren Oliver fans out there, remember, Darren Oliver is the age now that Steve Finley was when he was with the Angels. Steve Finley? Yeah, that's where Darren Oliver is headed. Steve Finleyville. We got a 10% rebate on the worst contract of the first decade of the 21st century. Not bad. Vlad Guerrero is no longer an angel. That's too bad. Uh, we've replaced him with Hideki Matsui. To read these preseason review things, it's like, what? Hideki Matsui? Uh, Need I remind you, maybe it's a secret, but I'll clue you in. Each club has the medical records of the players on their team. And when someone's a free agent, they have those medical records. So there was a time when the Angels had Vladimir Guerrero's medical records and Hideki Matsui's medical records sitting right in front of them. And they chose to sign Matsui. I don't know. 
I don't have Matsui's medical records. I don't have Vlad's medical records. But someone did. So, Figgins, Lackey, Oliver, Matthews, Vlad, they're gone. But I'm still looking at an Angels team that can win 92, 93 games this year. The division's going to be tough, but I see 93 wins as taking the division. And so look for the Angels to maintain the Western Division title and look for them to go deep into the playoffs.